my name is Dr. Galina Hayes. I'm a surgeon at Cornell University, um, and a large proportion of my practice is working with the animals and the owners of the animals that have cancer that come here for help. Osteosarcoma destroys the bone from the inside out, which is a very painful process, um, and one of my main roles as a surgeon is to try and alleviate the pain associated with that. Probably the greatest misconception I hear from people regarding uh, amputation is the idea that this really spells a death sentence for the dog, that the dog can have no quality of life in the face of an amputation. Um, sometimes I tell the story of when I was early in my career, I managed a farm dog that was actually in a, um, a machinery accident and lost two limbs, a forelimb and a hind limb, as a result of that trauma. That dog could run down the farm driveway three miles and jump the five bar gate at the end. Um, and that was a border collie, young border collie. Not every dog will tolerate a single amputation as well as that, but I'm constantly surprised by the ability of dogs to handle an intervention like this. Um, and really, it's, it's, my role as, as a surgeon is as much counselling of those families um, and assessing the patient to see if I feel that amputation will work for them um, as it is doing the actual surgery. The decision making is key and it has to be a team process. It has to be with the family, not uh, for the family.